at the beginning of the video I forgot to mention that I have to film this video with my back door open because it's really warm today so I apologize if you can hear a lot of outside noises. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a little flip through for you. This is kind of a few minimalist style spreads that I've been doing in my bullet journal lately so I thought I would show you those. So this is a weekly spread. A little bit differently I have made like a schedule so it's just a small kind of very brief schedule of what's happening on those days so important appointments and birthdays and things like that just to keep note of. Normally what I do is I put in this so it's quite a bit bigger. There's three lines for each day of the week but it takes up quite a lot of room so I wanted to try something a little bit smaller this time. I also wanted to have a larger area for tasks so that I can put more notes and stuff down. I still have YouTube, Instagram and hours tracking things because I need to and my self care tracker but this time instead of using colour I'm going to try uh, using different symbols for each area. And then I've also got my study plan, which is a lot smaller. Normally my study plan is a full page like this. So instead I have it like this. It's just a couple of lines so I can put a brief explanation of what I need to do because then I also refer to this proper course guide that I have, which has all the different sections and everything that I need to do within those sections, like any tasks, readings, journal reflections and things that I have to do for that part of the course so I can just refer to this big master list instead of having to copy it out all the time completely. I also have an activity it's not a tracker I'm just going to be writing down what activities I'll be doing each day of that week and I also have a cleaning checklist as well just to keep on top of that sort of thing and my first daily which is pretty simple as you can see just goes across the page like that and then I have two pages for dailies on the other side. Another thing that I wanted to show you is this daily routine. This is inspired by Cara from bohoberry.com or bohoberry YouTube channel. I will link down below. So she had, I think I saw it on Instagram or something, like a daily routine posted and I'm trying to figure out what the best daily routine for myself is at the moment. So I just wanted a really simple, easy to look at minimalistic kind of routine outline to play around with for now and then a couple of pages over so we have that weekly spread some daily areas and then I also have done a four A's of stress relief by the Mayo Clinic I found this like infographic on Pinterest and I really liked it because it gives you really good tips on how to avoid stress when you can how to alter it when you can and then like if you can't change the level of stress then you can increase your ability to cope through acceptance and adaptation. I basically just took notes from it really and put it in here because I wanted to have it with me so that I didn't have to always look on Pinterest or have the internet or whatever. Plus I find that if I write something down it often sticks better in my mind anyway so I wanted to do that and then I also wanted to have an assets list which is from this Mayo Clinic infographic I said create an assets column so it's imagine all the things that bring you joy in life and you can look at that list when you're stressed and, and just kind of remind you of all the good things. And then I also have a stress management ideas list which is very minimal, there's no colour, just really simple header, some really wonky <laughs> writing and just a whole bunch of ideas for managing stress, ways to kind of calm down. That's what I've got so far. I'm just going to flip through because I feel like there was something else that I wanted to show you and I can't remember what it was. So I found it. This is a cleaning tracker. I wanted to make this weekly and monthly cleaning tracker so that I can like tick things off each month. It's just six, uh, seven months long. So from December until June of, December last year until June of this year. And that just helps me keep track of things. And moving upwards, this is the monthly etc cleaning so monthly stuff seasonal seasonal stuff and six monthly and stuff that happens as needed I've got these little dots to signify when I would like to do each task so what month for example I want to do something in um, obviously this needs to be monthly but I didn't have time to do the cupboards and 
like the cupboard doors, doors in December so I've got them done for this month which I have actually done so I'm going to tick those off there we go yeah and then just a whole bunch of these other things to do so I thought I would just show you that in case you need an idea for a weekly or monthly cleaning schedule something else I wanted to show you is an activity page and this just kind of outlines what I want to be doing each week and this also lists down the body weight circuit that I got from I think it's nerdfitness.com or fitnessnerd.com either way I will link it down below don't worry and that, there's a little video on that which actually shows you how to do the circuit and stuff yeah so if you like to do exercise and stuff and want an idea for a spread for that then there you go the other thing I wanted to talk to you about was washi tape so as you can see I have put a, quite a lot of washi tape in my bullet journal so <laughs> recently so for each month I like to put a strip of washi on the the title page slash the the month page and it sticks out a little bit so that when the journal is closed I can easily flip through like a tab and I've done that with the rest of the washi tape in my book as well I kind of had, have it sticking out to make tabs which is okay but I'm not sure I'd do it again yeah each type of washi tape is representative of a different section so I'll just show you I have this little flip out thing here so yeah the blue with stars is about books and hobbies so things like my reading lists my project life stuff anything orange is study related anything pink and diagonal white striped is house related anything that's this one's YouTube blog stuff and yellow is for goals and things um, and then obviously we've got the flamingo one which is for months and everything so yeah I mean it definitely is helpful to have the tape so that I can easily flip to different sections and things that I need to look at but at the same time I don't really like having it sticking out the sides I wish I hadn't done that but I'm just gonna leave it now like that's fine it's not gonna it doesn't irritate me enough to need to change it and the other thing I don't like about washi is that it makes the edges quite thick so it doesn't always lie flat and then as you get further along in the book sometimes that can be problematic when you're writing and I also don't like how thick how wide it is so that if you were to put it all the way down it would actually take up more than one square on either side of the paper which just irritates me <laughs> so I would probably need to get really thin washi if I was going to do that again so I think next time what I might do is just not do tabs in my next book that's pretty much it I think for this video I know it's a bit of a different one and I didn't do any plan with me stuff this week but I think you know I do a lot of weeklies and I don't want it to get repetitive and boring and I feel like at the moment my weekly spreads and my dailies are definitely I I have what works for me and so I I don't really want to play around with it and switch it up because I know that it works and it's what I like so it kind of makes it hard in terms of wanting to make different content for you guys so I am sorry for not doing a plan with me this week but hopefully this little mini flip through was interesting and if you are interested in doing some more minimal style stuff that will give you some ideas or if you just want ideas anyway then hopefully it was good all right guys thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video please give it a like if you did don't forget to subscribe if you're new and i will see you again really soon bye